During the pandemic, not only was there a baby boom, but childbirth mortality mm. rates went up as well. NBC 23's Natasha Trindade explains why Hispanic women are at greater risk. Good morning, Natasha. Good morning. According to health officials of Valley Baptist, Texas has the eighth highest maternal mortality rate in the country, with 35 deaths per 100,000 births. Nearly one in four women in Texas don't have health insurance, which is over double the percentage for the rest of the country. The Maternal Mortality and Morbidity Re Review Committee report estimates that up to 90% of the deaths may have been preventable. Hispanics make up the majority of uninsured Texans with nearly two-thirds of the total. According to the Texas Department of Health and Human Services, severe medical complications for pregnancy and childbirth also increased between 2018 and 2020, from 58 to 72 cases per 10,000 deliveries. We see is a lot of comorbidities with our Hispanic population. So these moms typically tend to be uh, have hypertension, they tend to have diabetes, and they tend to be um, obese. And what happens a lot with maternal morbidity and mortality, the majority of these deaths are occurring from cardiovascular disease. So that is prevalent in all of our Hispanic population. According to Hard.org, during the first year of the pandemic, many pregnant women avoided clinics. So even though we saw an increase in births, mothers weren't getting the prenatal care they needed to ensure a healthy delivery. Coming up in the next half hour, we'll talk about some ways to ensure you have a healthy pregnancy. Reporting from the studio, I'm Natasha Trindade.